Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on how to install and configure the AC2000 light controller. So in this video we're going to look at how to install the AC2000 light controller software, how to start the AC2000 VM console and how to set the IP address, time zone and passwords. So first up, make sure the workstation that you're using meets the system requirements. Check the manual for this. So insert your installation DVD or a USB and navigate to the A2KVM installer executable file. Right click on the file and select run as administrator. Then click next. The end user agreement window appears. Click I agree to continue. The system displays a network adapter warning. Click yes to continue. Next, you can choose the destination folder where the program will be installed. To select the default destination, just click install. This will start the process of installing the necessary files. This may take several minutes. When you see the completed message, click next and then click Finish to complete the installation. You'll now see a shortcut to the AC2000 VM controller on your desktop. So we now need to set the IP address, time zone and passwords for your system. To begin, select the VM2000 application, right click and select Run as Administrator. So when the application opens, you can see the state is stopped, which means the virtual server is currently not running. So before starting the virtual server, check the run mode is in console state. If not, click configure and amend this in the virtual machine settings and then click save. Click Start to launch the AC2000 virtual server. And the virtual server will then appear in a new window where you can see it load. To log on using the root username and password, Press A to accept the end user license agreement. Next, select your time zone area using the letters or arrow keys and then press enter. Select a time zone and then press enter. You now need to enter the IP address, netmask and gateway for the server. Once you've done that, press enter. You'll now need to enter a new diagnostic pin that will be used for accessing applicable readers. So just enter the final four digits of your new pin here. So for example, entering 0369 will give you a new diagnostic pin of 67670369. You now need to set the system passwords. So just make sure you read the information displayed here before pressing enter. First, you need to enter and confirm the new password for the CEM account. Next, enter and confirm a new password for the service account. And finally, enter and confirm a new password for the root account. Press enter on the OK message when you're done. Just make sure you store the passwords in a safe place as CEM systems will not be able to reset those passwords for you. Once the installation is complete, select Log Out and then press Enter to complete the server installation process. 